your soluble fiber, your oats, your beans, your lentils, your fruits, your vegetables, chia seeds. I just put these chia seeds in here about maybe five minutes ago. And these chia seeds were about hmm, four or five times smaller than they are right now. It fills up with water as that chia seeds absorbs the water up to 12, 15 times the amount. And this fluid forms a gel. This gel, when we eat our soluble fiber, it goes into our stomach, it slows digestion down. It makes its way into the small intestine. And the silo fiber does not get digested. We don't have the enzymes for it. So it makes its way into the large intestine and that's where the microbiome is. That's our probiotics. But soluble fiber is our prebiotic. And just like everything in the world has to eat, just like us, well, those trillions of bacteria that's sitting in our colon right now has to eat as well. And there's nothing more that they like when it comes to soluble fiber. So they eat the soluble fiber. There are many different types of short chain fatty acids that are given off. And the main short chain fatty acids are acetate, propionate, and butyrate. And about 60 to 70% of the short chain fatty acids help protect the colon, those colonocytes. It can help reverse many different colon diseases. It can do wonderful things to help reduce inflammation and it can actually help prevent colon cancer. There's about 10 to 15% that makes its way into the bloodstream. And from that perspective, this is where miracles set in because it has a tremendous effect on reducing inflammation throughout the body. And we know it plays a significant role when it comes down to making you more insulin sensitive, reversing insulin resistance, allowing glucose to be absorbed by the cells so much slower, preventing that spike of that glucose and insulin surge. And those short chain fatty acids has a significant impact on obesity related illnesses like type two diabetes, by influencing body weight control across the effects on energy expenditure, energy intake, systemic low grade inflammation and insulin sensitivity. And in a medical study, which I will attach below, called the implication of short chain fatty acids in obesity and diabetes. And the research shows that body weight, insulin resistance, and dyslipidemia, the increased fats in our blood, which are all metabolic markers associated to obesity, can be reduced by dietary fiber supplementation. Look at these chia seeds now, even thicker, just a few minutes later. That soluble fiber will help increase those short chain fatty acids throughout your body. And the research consistently shows that this can help increase insulin sensitivity, reverse insulin resistance, help prevent diabetes, as well as reducing obesity, making it harder for you to gain weight. And so I wanted to address this particular video and this research study because very few people in the medical society our medical world talk about short chain fatty acids. And it's one thing that if you start adding more soluble fiber to your diet, you should notice a tremendous change in your health. And if you're trying to accomplish your weight loss goals, and if you're not adding that soluble fiber, you're not producing those short chain fatty acids because the probiotics in your microbiome is not happy that plays a significant role directly inside your system. Because remember, one of the greatest things of short chain fatty acids is reducing inflammation. That's within your entire body. And every disease and every condition is linked to inflammation. I hope that this video serves you well. Please share it with your friends and family. Most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.